Alrighty then. Thank you so much, everybody that's tuned in already. I see Stephen is in the house. Nicole, how are you doing, my love? Steve Thompson. Steve, I think I already got um, your video. It's ready, so it should be getting uh, shipped by tonight. Uh, tai Chenge, Michael Carpenter, thank you all so much for joining. Uh, Steve, yes, you're the man too, and I'm really loving what we created together. I also see uh, Robert has tuned in. Thank you so much, Nicole. <laughs> Great stuff. Okay, so today is a really, really exciting day for me. Michael said I had to give my first refund today, but I'm not mad. I'm excited. It's part of business, man. The more people you influence, the more people will, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? Um, you know, wants you to guarantee them, etc., etc. Steve says, lovely jubbly. Ha <laughs> ha, haven't heard that in a while. Lovely jubbly for sure. Right, so obviously today we're talking about something that is near and dear to my heart. Salgado, thank you so much for tuning in. Adam David Daru. Oh, you guys are all amazing. Thank you so much for taking your time. And also, I would like to thank every single one of you guys that has gone out of their way to vote for me um, on my nomination. Hello! Everything is getting exciting now. Um, I'm going to be reading out all those people's um, names. Uh, I hope I will get the time for every one of you guys that has voted for me. Not only does this validate what I do or what I do for you guys every single day, it just really shows that we have become family, you know what I mean? All these little successories that we're picking along their way, my success is your success too. If I'm representing you and making you excited and you voting for me, I will continuously do that and I will continuously come around and, you know, deliver as much value as I can because I know you appreciate it and I can see in the way that, um, you know, you're supporting me every single day. So if this is your first time tuning in, I see uh, Charity Gusani. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, Dave Kaufman, thank you so much. All right, this is the... Pro um, Jeez, I do so many shows, don't I? This is the Lunch and Learn with Prosper. So every single day at 2 p.m. AEST, we sit around here and then we discuss how we can help you earn more money with your business, um, you know, with less struggle, okay? Joel Ostrom, thank you so much for tuning in. So my name is Prosper and um, as you might know, I help small businesses like yourself to essentially grow through digital marketing. Audric Madeira, thank you so much for tuning in. Everybody else, thank you so much. And those of you that, that have voted for me already, I appreciate it, all right? And... Um, Let's <laughs> prosper for that. Gift mate, gunjani baba. Thank you so much all for tuning in. All right, so I will definitely be helping you to build systems within your business so that you can, they can operate on autopilot and so that you can actually be really successful while doing very little, okay? You start earning a lot more money and you have less struggle. You doubt that, you can ask some of my clients, you can ask some of my students. Most of my students are earning more than some gurus out there. So it's in your best interest to actually um, maybe pay attention or just come in for the ride. Now today we're talking about ways to actually become your best self. A lot of things are happening around us every single day and they are demanding us to show up. They are demanding us to provide value. They're demanding us to be there for our clients. All these things are demanding us uh, you know, to, to, to constantly be there for the people that we're asking money from. All right, now this is, this is one of those things that whether you're feeling ill whether you've, you're not up to it, whether you feel like it's, it's not, you know, you, you, you've got a headache, whether you feel crook, whether there's a hurricane, whether there's people that are not buying from you, your customers are going to expect you to be there 24-7 for them. You know why? Because they're paying you money. 
All right. So you don't have to be there 24 seven. Your content can be out there, you know, marinating them and nurturing them, your videos, your podcasts and everything else that you do, your love or whatever vibe you throw out there will be there for when you're sleeping and when you're rejuvenating or you're doing the things that you're actually loving. Now, for you to actually be successful in this global 24 hour world that our customers are constantly demanding off of us, the biggest obstacle that every entrepreneur is facing is this person here, the person inside, the true player, your brain, your mindset. All right. Are you bringing that to the table? Are you doing enough to nourish your brain so that you are there, you're consistently providing and you're of value to the people that, um, you know, going to be supporting you as a business person? Because at the end of the day, look at this. If you are not of value, if you're not providing value and all you're doing is sell, 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 how do you expect people to follow you? How do you expect people to trust you? How do you expect people to want to hear from you if you are not being of value to them? Now, it's not going to be easy for you to be of value to your people. First, you've got to know your audience by building it. Second, you've got to nurture all those people. And third of all, you've got to be able to sell to those people when they show up at your doorstep. Now, you're only the one person, which is what most businesses are. All right. You will burn out. You know why? Because there's so much that's expected of you. There are certain things that you can then do to yourself to make sure that you're constantly available. You're constantly at your top and you're always performing and you're always getting results. All right. Success is not a destination, guys. Every single thing that you do matters. That excited customer, that happy um, testimonial that you get from your customer, that good referral that you get from people because you're doing well, every single one of those things is a building block towards your success. What are you doing to nurture that? What are you doing to the star player in, in, in there to make sure that you are mentally strong, physically strong, and you are able to provide for those people that you care about and that care about your message? Not everyone is going to be your customer and not everyone is going to understand you, but those that do are going to expect you to be there for them. Yesterday, I was laughing. Um, what's his name? Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey has become this esoteric uh, being, has become enlightened and, you know, a lot of people stopped watching or following his stuff when he was still doing the Dumb and Dumber movies. Lately, Jim Carrey has been this really enlightened human being and he, he no longer partakes in silly or small mindedness. You know what I mean? So yesterday's um, interview was a big highlight of the growth that has gone inside of that man. All right. Some people don't know. They, 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 they don't know. There's that whole spiritual awakening that has to happen within somebody when you start, you know, noticing things that the normal majority doesn't see. All of those things will help you to maintain who you are as a person when you are in tune and you're aligned to your own self. Some people never take the time to maintain who they are, their integrity, their values, their spiritual being. Every one of us is capable of great things, guys. Do you know what I mean? You know, under the right circumstances, you are destined to go far. But if you don't allow yourself to move forward, if you don't allow yourself to accept that greatness, it will never come to you. All right, so you want to be careful what your influences are, who is influencing you, who, what are you reading, and what are you watching, who are you following? Because at the end of the day, we all have the answers within us. All right, if you believe in yourself and what you can accomplish, and, and, and you have a big picture of who you're supposed to be as a being in your mind, I, that vision will become a reality. But most of us, we then tend to want to copy what other people are doing. You know, most of us want to confirm to society so that we, we, we don't stand out that much. 
You know, have you ever noticed that people that are actually doing well in life and, and they're actually good at what, what they do, some of them are even elite. A few of them are totally unstoppable. You know why? They, they're in their own world. Right? They don't compare to anybody else but themselves. You never know what they're going to do. You never know what they're going to come up with. Only you're just forced to respond to them. Just like what Jim Carrey did yesterday. He didn't care what he was talking about yesterday as long as his message came through. That we are all following blindly to people that we deem as gurus. People that we deem as, as you know, the socially acceptable people that are our idols. Alright? What stops you from being the person that can be a leader? Yeah? People that are making it in life, they don't compete with anybody else but themselves. Do you know what I mean? You never know what they're going to do. You never know what, what awards they're going to win. You never know what they, everything they do, everything they touch becomes an experience. You should actually start respecting yourself so much because you are capable of a whole lot than you're giving yourself credit for. It's not going to be the next new and shiny object or it's not going to be the next new and shiny trick. It's the star player that's inside there. What are you doing to feed your mind so that you could be of value? What are you doing to, to, to recoup so that when you're tired, you are there for the people that you're going to be demanding money from? Some people think that for you to be successful or for you to actually win at this game of life, you, you have to have all the latest tricks, you have to know all the, 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 the gurus, you have to be you know in, in all the groups. That's not it. You're just burning midnight oil for no reason. You know, basically, you really have all the answers of what you want to be, do and have in your life. Why would you let somebody tell you what to do? All you got to be is the best version of yourself. Then you don't have to compete with anyone. You just need to become the best you. And then people will be like, oh, that Nicole. Yes, she's well known for this. And look at her integrity, etc., etc." But maybe sometimes you actually don't know how to begin transforming yourself to become that person that you, you should be. You know? Because the reason why I'm saying this, we're in September right now of 2017. You know you've read all the books, you've done all the courses, but you still haven't, you know, achieved anything. The reason being you are not implementing or you are not giving yourself the, um, you know, the, 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 what do you call it? You're not giving yourself the permission to actually start becoming. Now, how do you become, begin transforming into the person that you, you believe you should be? You know, I'm, I'm a marketing, um, you know, I'm a marketing person. But right now, I, I, I feel like a lot of people are detaching themselves, their businesses, their values, and then they're just following other people aimlessly. If you align yourself with what your vision is, what your message is, everything else seems seamless. You know, you can post a picture of you drinking a coffee and people will climb all over each other for it. You know why? Because it's authentic. But some of us are trying to become what we're not. And that is diluting our message. That is diluting our authority. That is diluting, you know, even our websites. They're filled with all this stuff that we think people like. No. People just want to be in front of you and be around you so that you can deliver to them what you say you're going to deliver to them. Alright? It's really time to, 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 to maybe stretch yourself a little bit and, and to grow and allow yourself to develop within yourself. You already know what you need to know. No need to follow this coach. No need to follow this guru. You have the answers. Think of it as a journey, all right? Think of it as a journey to self-discovery. Because the more you know yourself, the more you would know what customers to attract. The more you know yourself, you, the more you know how to talk to those customers using your own language that you won't burn out in. You know? It, it, is, it is a way, once you start knowing who exactly you are, you will start attracting the right kind of people with the right kind of pain. Because you are being yourself. 
being authentic doesn't doesn't mean um you know you just showing up when you think it's possible being authentic actually means being ready 24 7 do you know right now if somebody wakes me up at any particular moment i'm ready to do a national tv interview i'm ready to do any interview on a podcast you know why because i'm just speaking my truth I took time to understand who I was and understand who I need to hear my message. Some of us, if I would say, come and have a meeting with me, you would need 500 years to prepare. No one has time for that. And that's the reason why you're missing out on a lot of opportunities. Because when you then go out, you cannot speak your truth, you cannot sell yourself, and people cannot buy you. All right? So for you to really, really figure out what are you capable of, try new things. This is almost the end of the year. You're probably just peddling in the same office, same environment, same, you know, people, same customers. Try something new. Don't let yourself become complacent. Because, I mean, we're humans, right? And then, and then we, we, we were creatures of habit. But the fear of change is the biggest enemy. How are you going to know that your clientele likes certain things if you don't venture out to find out what everybody else is doing? Kick things up a notch. Do you know what I mean? Regularly try something new and unexpected. Go out there and, and meet other people that are not in your same industry. Right now, the reason why a lot of us are failing is because we are trying to sell to the same people that sell the same things that we're selling. A lot of marketing people are coming to me and saying, hey, can we do your, 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 your SEO? And I'm like, dude, I shit SEO every single day in this, in this office. We are trying to sell to people that are within our comfort zone. Venture out. Go and do something unexpected you know there's probably something that you've always wanted to do but you've never had time for it could be something you know adventurous like scuba diving or skydiving or or anything you will actually meet somebody who will now become maybe your business partner you will meet somebody who can become your life partner you will meet somebody who will introduce you to other people within their own circle because right now we we are all just you know, rotating and, and, and rotating, you know, within our own circle. We're not venturing out. How many people would say if you delete your Facebook today, tomorrow if you start a new one, you will be completely okay? I'm one of those people. I can literally delete my Facebook today and I'll start afresh and it will be like nothing ever happened. It's because I am so used to getting outside my comfort zone. All right, this is this is a test. Try and go and and not unfriend, but unfollow everyone who comes in your newsfeed so that you get new people that are coming through because the only people that are coming in your newsfeed right now is the people that you guys are just talking to every single day. Freshen that up a little bit. All right? Maybe you've always wanted to to tap into your artistic side. Learn to paint, you know, with watercolors or take a photography class. Once you start taking those photos, you you start posting them. That becomes fresh content. That becomes authentic instead of you trying to sell me SEO. Whatever it is, whatever is important, that will give you time to think in a different perspective. When you then come back to your work, it, it becomes totally different. You know what? I cycle. Um, you know, I, I cycle every Sunday. I play basketball, and most of my clients are coming in from all those other avenues. I, I I also help my my community with the Facebook. Um, I I run the three seven five four open for business uh, Facebook group, which I help other smaller businesses and people to just connect within my community. I don't think we're venturing out enough outside our little profile or newsfeed. That's where your customers are. And I don't think you're doing that enough because you're not comfortable with yourself. You're not comfortable with what you've got to offer. You're not comfortable with your, with your uh, voice. You're not comfortable with yourself. 
And if you're not comfortable with your own self, how do you expect somebody else to buy you or what you've got to offer? Whatever it is, take some time to, to, to explore, you know, new activities. I want to see different things coming up from different people. You know, the reason why nothing is happening is because you're not venturing out enough. Surprise yourself by just pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. Heck, I had to cross countries, cross continents even. And I'm not even settled yet. You know, because there's always more out there in the world. I've been talking to people that have never left the state that we live in. It's pathetic. How are you going to know what else is happening outside there? How are you going to know what your customers are going through? How are you going to know what people are actually buying on the market if you're just looking at your profile and you think that's it? Guys, if you do more than just your work, first of all, you create content. You create new connections and you become interesting. People like interesting individuals. If you've got no life, if you've got nothing happening besides your work, you become a dad, you become boring. And you will be discovered by other people that, you know, would never have heard of you if you venture out. You know, and perhaps you've got a different talent and an ability to learn something that you didn't even think you were capable of. And the reason why you're failing is because now you're, you're just too romantic about the only thing you know. It might not be your thing being an entrepreneur. You might, you might just go venture out and find something that you're actually really, really good at. And then you stop having hallucinations or ulcers or stress just because you know you want to um to to be successful at something if if you if you are not being successful at your business it it, it gives you it, it takes you on a on a downward projectile but if you're successful at least maybe your team wins basketball or your 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 whatever other extracurricular activity happens it gives you that momentum to know that at least success happens you know along with trying new things, you, 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 you then become a fun person, you relax, you unplug from all the daily stress. And that downtime when you're doing other things, it gives you a chance to recharge and you're very, um, you know, you, you, you stay open to, um, um, you, know, um, you know, new experiences. Because if you continuously fill your time with work, tasks and obligations, it, 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 it gives you mental fatigue. And that's when you start feeling as if you are, you are insufficient because other people just keep passing you as if it's a race. But you don't know what they do in their spare time. You know what I mean? And in the process, just figure out what your ultimate dream is. The thing that you actually want to do more than anything else, do that. If you're not doing it right now, your true calling, the one thing that will actually make you jump inside you know there's a few questions you should ask yourself am i doing what makes me happy right now because people can tell and if you're not excited about what you're doing how do you expect to sell so when you actually pursue your dreams it gives you the, the, the determination that your goals will come through and will spark a lot of creativity in your work you will inspire others in the process Plus, you know, you'll be doing something that actually makes you happy. Why are you diminishing your, your chances to be happy by doing and pursuing something that's not meant to be yours? Go outside your comfort zone and then when you figure out that this is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing, now do it with your utmost, um, you know, ability. And if you're doing something that you absolutely love, you'll be able to sustain the motivation. Have you ever noticed that people go on an on a upward, downward spiral? Oh, Monday. Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, it's Wednesday. Oh, my God. And they start counting the days and start counting the pain. You know, we, we all have days that you wake up and you're not feeling it. But is, it, is, that, is that your customer's fault? If your customers are paying you to help them with their business, they don't care if you're on your period. They don't care if you've got a headache. They don't care if a hurricane hit your house. All they want is what you're supposed to do for them. 
So for you to avoid the roller coaster of you being on, you know, you you not being um, there to to serve them, you gotta make sure that you constantly are making, you know, progress, putting content out there, and the days that you are feeling good. Simon, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, and make sure whatever. Right now, I'm working. This is work for me. Can you imagine? Can you imagine how exciting this is that I'm actually working right now? You know, rather than, you know, laboring and, and doing things that you don't enjoy. Make your work part of everything that you do every single day. That way you won't be low on your energy. You won't be low on your inspiration. You always will find something to, you know, keep moving you forward. And Simon, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope we're going to be seeing a lot more of you, um, you know, in the coming days. Guys, remember, progress is incremental. You have to find ways to keep the fire burning in your belly. And you can only do that if you absolutely love what you're doing. So keep nurturing that, you know, with that deep desire to achieve, etc., etc. This is what you're going to do, guys. This is 2017, write it off. 2018 has to be your year. Find out what you want to do in January. Find out what you want to do in February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. That way, that way, you won't run out of energy because you know you've got certain expectations for that particular month. Some of us burn out because we want to do everything for the whole year. A year has 365 days, guys. Those 365 days have 24 hours in them. Each and every hour in there has 60 minutes. Every one of those needs to be accounted for. All right, so for you to keep your motivation... And Sivers, thank you so much for tuning in. So for you to keep your motivation, um, you know, and, 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 and aligned with your, your core values so that you don't burn out, do what you absolutely love. Don't do it just because it paid your guru. Don't do it just because you fell for a stupid Facebook ad. Do it because it feels good. All right. Keep note of what is actually making you happy. Jot down all the ideas. Nobody said anything had to be a straight line. Success is funny. People start from A and when they want to go here, the rest in between is squiggly. All right. People buy from those that they know, like, and trust. The only way people can know you is by you being a positive influence to them. Trust you is by you showing up every single day. Knowing you is, is when they start seeing the authentic side of you. It's not about the next trick or the next, um, you know, um, what do you call it? Uh, product or whatever it is. You are the person that people are coming to listen to. So you got to make sure you're taking good care of yourself. All right. All of this requires for you to actually have good habits. You know what I mean? People are naturally creatures of habits. So the better your habits are, you know, the, 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 the better your, your influences become. Picture this. Every time you go in to brush your teeth, right? You just put the toothpaste on and then you already automatically your hand knows where to go. Tang, all that stuff without you thinking positively about what you're supposed to be doing. Now, can you imagine how many other things are happening without you physically thinking about it? So you just got to hone the good habits. Just because nobody's watching, it doesn't mean it's not going to pay off. People get paid in public for all the hard work they put behind the scenes. Right now, I'm about to win, um, you know, the, the um, what is it called? The, the Male Entrepreneur Achievers Award. Have you noticed how many things have been happening to me, um, you know, throughout the whole year? 
that TV interview, all that um, recognition within my community, all that stuff that just happens. Every step of the way, I've got something for you. It's stuff that's happening behind the scenes. It's not just what you get to see. What you get to see is a finished result. So that's what you've got to do. You've got to start creating all those really, really good habits. Do you know what I mean? Bad habits in and of themselves, they actually suck away your determination because they leave you short of your goals. You know, you want to build solid, reliable habits that keep you, you know, every single step of the way. Your family, your life, your friends, the people that hang around you, every single one of those things matters. You know, and good habits are, are really important for you to create your best self. Once you become your best self, people want to be amongst you. People would love to hear more from you. They would never have enough of what you've got to say. And in the process, you just figure out a way to build them. But you cannot, you know, ask people for money before you have provided enough value that they just feel like, oh, I just got to do something for him. And some people might be wondering where all this is coming from. Your life story and your life experience has great commercial value than you can ever possibly dream of. All right, you are, you are here to make a difference in this world. Every person is here to live, to learn, and to contribute. Those that are not contributing are doing every, every person a disservice. All right, so you want to make sure that every single thing that you're doing, you're focusing on self-care, and you're operating in your best possible way that you can, um, you can, you can do. Every single thing you do matters. Every single person you talk to matters. People get paid in direct accordance to the value you give to other human beings. So if you're not giving any value, why would you expect anyone to stop and listen to what you've got to say? Don't ever forget that your mental well-being also needs to be nurtured. Take time to really focus on what you really want before you go on to the market because the market is fecal, guys. Do you know what I mean? That is the key to becoming and maintaining your best self that people would want to be around. People want to do business with those that they know, like, and trust. Just be a really good human. All right, and if you haven't voted for me, I'll put the link in the bottom. Please do. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Every single day, as you know, we sit around here for 30 minutes just so that we can help you make more money within your business with less struggle. Imagine if you just woke up and everybody already knows your name. Imagine if you just woke up, everybody already knows what you're selling, and it becomes an easy drift, guys. Just be a good human. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, thank you, thank you.